Hey guys, it's Carl. MWC rolling around, we have a ton of new smartphones. This one kind of caught my eye. It's the Honor Magic 5 Pro. This is actually the first Honor device I'm reviewing on the channel, so I was super stoked. And when I initially did an unboxing of this, this kind of caught my eye because it has a very different design. The camera module is central, it's completely symmetrical, very different from most smartphones. And it does have, I would say, the 2023 colorway for smartphones. It's rocking this nice uh, mint green, which I do love. This one in a matte finish, and uh, I think we have a bunch to choose from this year, so I guess take your pick. If you're a green fan, 2023 is the year for you. But getting back to the main feature of the back, this is called the Eye of Muse design, which is inspired by the black hole at the center of a galaxy. I can't quite see that. Maybe, I guess, it's got the little circles. Maybe if you're squinting hard enough and this can kind of go in this little gyration, this could technically look like a galaxy, but it's also inspired by uh, Gaudi's curve, which is kind of cool because this phone was launched in Barcelona. I think a lot of you know the architecture in Barcelona, of course, designed by uh, Gaudi, La Sagrada Familia, that famous church, which I've actually been to for 10 years, still under construction, still trying to finish that off. But uh, that is a cool artistic design. And what's actually really cool tech-wise, some serious speak here about the camera. So it has a triple camera setup, obviously that star wheel shape, but each of the camera modules is 50 megapixels. That's very different than most smartphone cameras. You typically see a 50 megapixel main, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel telephoto. All three of these cameras are 50 megapixels, which is dope. And as you guys are watching this, when I'm done this vid, I'm actually hopping on a plane to Barcelona to check out this full launch. So I'm gonna shoot a ton of sample photos. I'll leave them across the screen now as I'm talking. I'll of course take them um, in Barcelona, some beautiful architecture. I'll hopefully get a couple pics of paella. But the key feature coming to the Honor Magic 5 Pro is the AI motion sensing feature. You can see it here with this little icon, the little running dude on the camera screen. It's essentially for fast moving objects. There's typically motion blur as the shutter is too low. And Honor actually did a test and managed to record a world record attempt using motion sensing AI for the highest dunk between the legs. Obviously I can't jump anywhere as near as high, but in my jump testing, you can see that I used motion sensing AI and I didn't miss any frame. There was no motion blur or missed shots. It's a great feature to have because a lot of moments when you're taking photos can't be recreated and you want to ensure that you get the shot when you can. And with Honor's new image engine, they've actually scored the highest rating on DxO Mark with a score of 152. And remember, by the time you're watching this video, I'm sure we'll get uh, a couple software updates. But looking around the rest of the design of the phone, like I mentioned, it comes in this nice matte green finish, of course, honor badging on the bottom. And it actually comes in five different colorways. Other than the green, it comes in blue, coral purple, black, as well as this orange one, which I just saw on the live stream. And in terms of the overall build, it's got stainless steel banding around the outside. It feels nice and premium. And up top, we actually have a speaker grill, which is a welcome change. Most phones these days have them actually built into the earpiece or in the display, so they don't sound as good. So once again, initial testing for audio quality, it sounds better than most other Android flagships. Volume rocker and on and off button on the side, typical place. And on the bottom, we've just got the SIM card slot tool. Switching on over to the front, you can see that the main area is pretty much all display. So a very high screen to body ratio. We've got a slight curve on the display. It isn't too pronounced. I wouldn't want anything uh, more than this. It's a 6.81 inch quad curved floating LTPO display. So it goes all the way from one to 120 Hertz. It's a phone equipped with the industry's first LTPO display with 2160 Hertz PWM dimming and a bit of a geek talk around display. So technically displays can dim in two different ways, analog and PWM. And essentially PWM or pulse width modulation dimming has better accuracy, better contrast ratios at a higher refresh rate. Coupled with the advantages of an LTPO panel, battery power savings and being more environmentally friendly. But to me out of the box with my untrained eyes, this just looks like a great display. Maybe I can't really notice uh, those minute differences. That's maybe something that only you can test under uh, scrutiny or under a microscope. But uh, I guess nit brightness, that's always a good number. So 1300 typically, and it can get up to 1800 nits for peak brightness. It's got a 5100 milliamp hour battery, 66 watt wired charger. It's nice that it actually comes inside of the box and a 50 watt wireless charger. When I'm out in Barcelona, I'll do a photography tour. I'll kind of report back on social if this lasts the entire day. But remember uh, my initial testing here, it seems to be pretty decent. You're getting around a day, a day and a half of usage depending on how heavy you are. 
Overall, it's been a dope phone, another green one uh, to check out in 2023. Cool to see an actual Honor device uh, in the flesh, the first one that I reviewed on the channel, and cool to see companies kind of relate back to uh, some cool design language. I think that's uh, a nice little touch. Let me know your guys' thoughts uh, on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. If you guys have any more questions when I'm out uh, in Barcelona, let me know, and I'll catch the rest of you uh, in one of my next vids. Peace.